Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a factory reset on a Windows 8. So I'm going to do a factory reset which basically involves wiping the drive and reinstalling Windows and the default applications that shipped with the computer. So I'm going to turn off the laptop and then turn it back on again and then immediately hit F9. ASUS laptops have a recovery partition which you can boot into by pressing F9 at startup. Once the machine boots, you should see a screen like this with three options. Continue, which exits recovery and tries to boot Windows. Troubleshoot, which has the recovery options. And turn off your PC, which is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to select the troubleshoot option. And now we have another menu with three more options. Refresh your PC, reset your PC, and advanced options. I'm going to select reset your PC because I want to do a full factory reset. It will tell you that all of your personal files will be removed and your PC settings will be changed back to their defaults. So I'm going to click on Next. Now because I've got more than one partition it's asking me if I want to remove files only from the drive where Windows is installed or from all of the drives. Because I want to reset everything back to the way it was when a laptop left the factory, I'm going to select all drives. Next, it will ask you if you want to just remove the files from the drive or to fully clean the drive. The first option just deletes references to the files so that the space is marked as available and the drive looks empty but doesn't delete the actual data from the drive. And it would be recoverable using a data recovery utility. While the second option deletes the files and then overwrites the area where the files were stored with zeros, which means that the files are no longer recoverable, or at least not easily. I'm just going to choose the first option as it's a lot faster, but if you're selling the computer and you have sensitive data on there, you might want to use the second option, though it can take hours to complete depending on the size of your drive. Now, after clicking next, the recovery process starts. All of the files on the drive are deleted and Windows is reinstalled. This obviously takes quite a while. Once the installation process is finished, the machine should reboot. And when it restarts, after selecting your language and accepting the licensing agreement, you should be back into Windows. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching.